going to try and educate myself today and find out a little bit about Albania's history from the end of the Second World War until 1985, the country was governed by a dictator by the name of Enver Hoxha and he arranged for about 750,000 bunkers to be built around the country. There's actually two of them in Tirana which have been converted into history museums. Today we're going to have a look in there, check it out and I'm going to share this with you so come along. Outside Bunk Art 2, during his reign, Hoxha banned foreign travel and religion and he feared an attack from Soviet allies or from NATO, so he had all of these bunkers built. Some people would say that he was extremely paranoid. <laughs> need to wear my mask inside. These bunkers at the time created a permanent sense of fear for all Albanians because they were dotted all over the country and everywhere people went they could see one of them. Oh this feels a little bit strange. Very weird. The border forces were created in 1945 and they ran until 1991. Their purpose was to stop citizens from trying to escape, and if they were caught trying to escape, they were killed. <laughs> So much time, money and effort was spent on creating these bunkers, but the enemy never ever came. This bunker's huge. It's about 1,000 meters squared, and it's just room after room, which all share historical facts and information. When I'm reading these boards, it's really sad to find out about what so many people experienced. That museum is definitely worth the visit. It wasn't expensive at all. It was 500 lek, which is less than four pound. So yeah, if you're in here, it's definitely one of the sites that you shouldn't miss. The next stop today is the Pyramid of Tirana. It's not far from the Bunk Art 2 Museum. It's about a 450 meter walk, it takes about five minutes. This was built in 1988 in honour of Enver Hodger. How cool are these light bulbs? I wonder what Thomas Edison would think of these. What I'm going to do in a future video, I'm going to come here in the evening when all of these are lit up. I think it'll look quite pretty. I've just stumbled across this sculpture, which is called The Cloud. Let's have a quick look at this. I'm 
disappointed. I've just got to the pyramid of Tirana and it's actually closed. I stopped a local guy and asked him where the entrance is and he said it's closed because it's under construction. Unlucky. But it's lunchtime now so I'm going to have a look for a restaurant. This is Top Tani Shopping Centre. I've heard good things about this place and there's meant to be a food court on the top floor. Right, I think I'm not being too exciting, but I'm going to have stuffed peppers again because I had them a few days ago and they were delicious. For these two stuffed peppers and a can of orange juice, it was 570 Albanian leg, which is roughly about £4.20. This restaurant is called Nona and I've just spotted the desserts on the back. Look at that, tiramisu for 250 lek or Ferrero Rocher cake for 280, that's less than £2. I'm a little bit full today but trust me I will be back for one of them.